Okay, karibu tujifunze C++ programming. Tunaangalia concept ya object oriented programming kwenye C++. Na hii ni practical number 8. Katika practical hii tutajifunza topic inaitwa constructor. Kwenye previous episode, yani kwenye previous practical number 7, tulijifunza kwamba constructor kazi yake kubwa ni kuinitialize object. Na tulisema kwamba constructor by default anakuwa na jina la class. Okay? So, leo tunaenda kuangalia multiple constructors. Kwenye previous practical to recreate single constructor ambayo alikuwa na number of parameters, four parameters. The same, ukija ku create an object, lazima zile arguments ziwe four arguments. Okay. So hii concept tulizungumzia kwenye ile practical iliyotangulia video practical iliyotoka practical number 7 tuliangalia mengi sana kuhusiana na constructor so leo tuna extend more tunaangalia multiple constructors kwenye C++ programming now constructor ya kwanza ilikuwa inaitwaje student na unachokifanya na create constructor ya pili na copy hii comment na kuja hapa na comment okay Constructor hii ya pili itachukua other data types. For example, string room number. Okay. Room number. Then the terminate. Then string block number. Then the terminate. Then string Okay, uh, key ID. For example, na tengeza constructor kwa jiri ya hizi variable tatu. Constructor lazima iwe na jina la class. Hata kama na tengeneza constructor ya pili, lazima iwe na jina la class. Jina la class ni nini? Jina la class ni student. Kwa haijalishi hata kama hapa nili create student, haijalishi. Na hapa na create constructor inaanza na student. Humu ndani napitisha parameters. Parameters ni hizi nini? Variables. Okay. So variables angu zote hizo ni string. Na create variable ni string. Hizi ni parameters. String room. Okay. Inofate na kwa ni string block. Okay. Ma. Zi inofate na kwa ni string key. Key. Okay. Na implement constructor angu zi bracket. Kisha wadio kusema room number itakoi ingi hapa ni sawa sawa na room number hii ok na zani concept tulizungumza kwenye practical number 7 ok so sana adia kurudia easy ni instance variable ni sawa sawa na hii parameter kwanza na the same block number ni sawa sawa na block i think hii concept ilisha famika konta sema hivi room number equal to room ok and block number equal to block ok and key id equal to key okay good sasa bas ili constructor hizi mbili ziweze ku propagate kanuni ni kwamba haitakiwi zifanane number of parameters hapa zimepita parameter 4 hairuhusiwi constructor ya pili kupitisha parameter 4 ni lazima ziwe pungufu au ziwe zaidi ya 4 Kwa sababu zote zina majina sawa. Kwa surusiwe humu kupitisha parameter nyingine. For example, nikasema na habla pingine string C name. Nikapitisha tena string GPA. Ichi kitu wa kirusiwi. Yani ya rusiwi namba za hapa. Idadi, ikafanana na idadi ya hapa. Hai rusiwi. Hapa ziponga. Moja mbili, tatu, nene. Na hapa. Moja mbili, tatu of course it wishetu ziwe nne ziwe hapa hairuhusiwi kuwa match namna hii yani hapa nne na hapa nne hairuhusiwi lazima hapa zizidi kidogo au zipungue unaona hapa zimepungua zipo ngapi zipo tatu kwa kanuni ya constructor zikiwa kuanzia mbili na kuendelea hata zote hizo zitakiwa kufanana length ya parameters na naposema parameters nadhani naeleweka kwa sababu tulishazungumza kule nyuma kwenye practical za 
functions na method parameters hizi length hazihusiki sawa na hizi hazihusiki hata kidogo kwa huku napo tengeneza object hiyo object ata, ataangalia kwamba wewe unapitisha argument ngapi argument zikiwa nne ataenda kwenye hii ya kwanza argument zikiwa tatu ataenda kwenye hii ya pili ndio maana now to create object mwingine object ni student then hii itakuwa ni student 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 4 okay after then naanza kupitisha number of arguments room number ni string for example room number is room 1 comma kinachofuata nini block block number block is block 2 okay string yo comma kinachofuata nini ni key key is key for example 1 ko ye moja kwa moja amekimbilia tayari kwenye constructor ya pili okay ameenda kwenye room ya kwanza block na key siruhusiwi kuongeza argument nyingine labda 3 nikiweka 3 tu anahama anaenda kwenye constructor ya kwanza muona ameiona nini gpa kwa hata hapa anakuja kubadilika anasema hiyo tayari inakuwa hii ni first name hii ni last name hii ni cause name hii ni gpa kwa nini nimeongeza argument nikiondoa hii anahama ilikuwa ni first name imekuwa ni room block na key inaenda kwenye constructor ngapi ya kwanza okay now terminate na unaweza ka print output ya student number 4 okay now you can print this is a student number 4 copy the same code then paste this is a student number 4 naongeza then 4 then nabadilisha tu hapa kwa sababu ni copy just andika room room number okay then object ya 4 then uh, room number is block na para block number okay then object ya 4 kinachofuata ni GID GID then hii remove after then come to run on out now you can see output here yeah. okay student 1 object information zake ni hizo now student 2 information zake ni hizi student 3 information zake ni hizi na first name last name cause name ni GPA student 4 information zake ni hizi okay so hiyo ndo maana ya constructor constructor main objective of constructor is to initialize object na kanuni ya constructor lazima iwe na jina la class hata kama zipo 100 zote ziwe na jina la class ila number of parameters lazima ziwe length tofautiane hii kama ina nne number of parameters hii iwe na nne hii iwe na zaidi ya nne au pungufu ya nne sifana nane na namba zizoko kwa hapa in length nikicreate constructor ya tatu itakuwa na jina la student hilo hilo lakini hastaki kufanana na hii wala kufanana na hii number of parameters kwenye practical video number 9 tutaangalia concept ya encapsulation what is encapsulation kwenye object oriented programming 